Hi everyone, my name is Jamie from PostServe IT and we're here today to talk to you about the differences between Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. Now we get a lot of customers and people asking us, you know, which platform should I choose, which is better for my business, and I think there's two lines of thought there. So one, uh, there is a technical component to that, you know, which spins this knob faster, which can perform this function better, and I think, uh, you know, there is some merit to that, but generally speaking, we think at this point in time, that there is a sense of parity between the two platforms in terms of functionally performing whatever it is that your business needs to do from a technical perspective. Uh, where we think the difference lies is in five main items that we're gonna talk about today. So one, when looking between uh, AWS and Azure, we think it's important to look at it you know, from a vendor consolidation perspective. So is, are there any advantages that you're gonna receive working with, you know, let's say just Microsoft or just Amazon in terms of negotiation power? Are there benefits to um, you know, contractual uh, gives that they're gonna provide? Or conversely, are there any cons to putting all your eggs in one basket? And let's say there's some requirement to move later, does that become more painful? So we do think it's important to understand you know, pros and cons to consolidating your vendors uh, and, and taking that into consideration. The second item that we would think about, and probably the most important, at least that we think at ProServe IT, is security. So in today's uh, you know, cloud and digital world, security is paramount. And you know, as technology, as companies adopt more and more technology, it's really important to adopt the security strategy that's easy to implement and uh, even easier and more importantly, is easy to adhere to once it's deployed. And we feel that the more cloud platforms you leverage, the more solutions you leverage, it just enters, uh, creates more digital footprint or digital uh, areas that uh, you know, perpetrators can try and attack you for. So we do feel that there is value in, in kind of you know, picking a, your core set of vendors and working with them and making sure that you can secure them adequately for your business. Uh, it does also lend itself as a con to looking at, let's say, a multi-hybrid cloud solution where you're, you're gonna look at you know, running both Amazon and Microsoft, or even Google for that matter, uh, you know, just more threat landscape to protect against. The number three is trust. So there's two sides to that. On one hand, there is an element of making sure that we can look at and evaluate and are comfortable with the terms and conditions and the usage rights that are, uh, you know, come with either of those cloud platforms. Uh, but there also might be a contractual requirement from your customers. We, we deal with uh, one company that's in the aerospace industry and they have very strict requirements from their customers that they're contractually obligated to, you know, make sure that their data is handled in a very specific fashion or, or sits in a very specific location. So, you know, will you or will the vendor you work with be able to satisfy not just your requirements, but also your customer requirements. Uh, number four is all around adoption. So are there any skills on your team that will help uh, make it easier to actually roll out successfully one platform or the other? Are there, are you, is your team primarily Microsoft where you've got a bunch of skills that can be repurposed and leveraged by deploying uh, Microsoft Azure? Or are you primarily a shop that has a number of technologies in place, or, or maybe a team that came from other organizations that had, you know, let's say an Amazon uh, background, and, and you can really pick up on that to get a jump start leveraging those platforms. So we do think that you know taking adoption and making sure that it can be successful in your lab is an important consideration. And the last uh, item to talk about is uh, vertical solutions. Oops. So when we look at uh, vertical solutions. You know, what we really mean is, you know, let's say you're a manufacturer, let's say that you're um, in police services or whatever it is that you do, and there is some line of business application, an ERP, a warehouse management platform, or whatever it is, that's specifically built for and runs on one of those platforms, that might push you to one platform or the other, uh, because you're going to need those systems to run your business. So. In summary, we think that uh, the decision point between AWS and Azure isn't necessarily a technical decision, although of course we need to do our due diligence and make sure that we know those things. We do need to look at it from five perspectives. You know, one, what are the pros and cons from a vendor consolidation perspective, and do I get any bulk buy or added risk from going with one vendor versus another? Two, uh, you know, does the, the vendors that I'm choosing increase or decrease my security footprint? Uh, and is there any efficiencies gained from uh, working with fewer vendors, thereby making it easier to uh, follow my security strategy. Three, there's an element of trust. Do I trust one vendor versus the other, or do my customers trust one vendor versus the other? And that's both you know, trust from an intrinsic perspective, but also trust from a contractual perspective. Four, are there any um, 
adoption efficiencies that we can gain by leveraging skill sets that my team has to make the rollout faster, and five, uh, any vertical in-market solutions that will uh, be required to actually run my business. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, again, that's Jamie from ProServeIT, and you can reach out to us at cloud at ProServeIT.com. Thanks for your time.